So a, a lot of um, a lot of uh, in my view, the thing of imagining imagination or fantasy or thinking um, is is a uh, is one of the mechanisms. The ego. I mean, you could say that there is an addiction to ego. There's addiction to thinking. There's addiction to identifying with the body. There's an addiction to being in fantasy and imagining things. Uh, there is um, addictions uh, you know, to external things, alcohol, drugs, food, whatever it is. So there's all kinds of addictions going on. Um, and uh, so fantasy is just another one. It's actually a very core addiction, the addiction to thought and just being and images are just a form of thoughts. So just being in thoughts is blocking off the experience of the infinite presence or enlightenment or the holy instant, whatever, or, or, or now or presence or beingness, whatever you want to call it. So um, it's not useful. So letting that go, it will bring up fear, of course. Uh, whenever there's, um, whenever something is released, it brings up fear. It's an old crutch. It's familiar and brings up the fear of the unknown. But uh, I would let it go. Uh, does it serve a purpose? I would say um, no. Uh, and uh, uh, Whenever you let anything from the ego goes, um, the ego always fights tooth and nail to say, I need that to survive. The whole, purpose, the whole thing of the ego is that fear, thinking, uh, being in a body, um, and, uh, and, and controlling and planning everything to death leads to greater safety. That's what your ego is telling you. Oh my God! If you let all of this stuff go, uh, uh, you, you you won't be able to function and you'll die. It's something it says, that's what it says more or less most of the time. Whenever you try and let go of anything, but uh, I mean, twelve step groups for addiction will find the more you let go of, the more happier, and the more miracles happen in life, which is the opposite of what the ego is telling them. You know, if I let go of my alcohol and I let go of all the control then my life will get worse. And actually the experience is that they, they let go of their addictions and they get happier. So, um, I mean, there is a caveat to once you get to enlightenment and you're letting go of complete identification with body and thoughts, uh, which is um, which is an advanced level answer to a question, but I won't for this video. Okay. Um, 